planet. Solar eclipses are powerful celestial events that occur around two times a year. But after the eclipse passes, what are you to do? Here are the best tips for you to help integrate the power of solar eclipses. According to Vedic or yogic tradition, the effects of a solar eclipse last for about six months. This is due to the solar cycles, the solstice cycles. The summer solstice and winter solstice are six months apart. So anytime we have a solar eclipse, its effects last for about six months. Now the day of a solar eclipse is simply a marker of time. It's not usually the day when big experiences occur, but it does set the stage for these next six months. So over the next six months, what you may find are really powerful opportunities for healing. Solar eclipses tend to bring up the depths and the darkness within the soul. And the idea behind that is that the sun represents the nature of the soul. And when the moon comes in front of the sun and blocks out the light, it takes away that light of the soul so we can dive deeply into the darkness or into that shadow side of ourselves. This is highly important because within those shadows reside a lot of habitual patterns. These subconscious karmic patterns that keep us stuck in loops usually lie within the shadow self, that side of ourself that we're not usually willing to look at. So after a solar eclipse, it's very important to integrate the experience. Whether you were able to see the visual eclipse or not, the effects of a solar eclipse are worldwide. This is an event that occurs on the earth, so everyone feels them. So some of the best things that you can do to help integrate the solar eclipse are as follows. Number one, take time for reflection. Give yourself moments where you can tune within, maybe even go do this outside in nature. This time of reflection, you can ask yourself, well, what did I experience during the solar eclipse or during the day of the solar eclipse? What did I witness? What were the thoughts that came up for me? This time of reflection can be really useful to help you uncover some hidden patterns. Tip number two, meditate. This goes hand in hand with reflection, but when you give yourself a moment to sit down, close your eyes, and disconnect from the world, you'll be able to tap into those depths of the soul. And the soul is very wise and it's there for you and it wants to help support your evolutionary journey, right? Because you are the soul. This idea of a personality and living in a physical body is simply an illusion for the soul to have its evolutionary journey. So through meditation, you can take the time to turn within and uncover any sort of information that will be useful for you. Tip number three, journaling. Journaling can be one of the most potent things for you to do right now, especially after meditation or just upon waking or before you go to sleep. Journaling can help you process. When you write things down, you get an opportunity to be a witness to your experience and then you can uncover some patterns that are no longer serving you. So take some time to journal over these next few weeks. Tip number four, get creative. How do you like to express your artistic side? Maybe it's through a creative project or through art or through cooking, right? There are lots of ways to express creativity. And this is a time for you to express yourself. Now, it might be through a process where you get to organize something in your home or build something within the home. But regardless, this act of expressing yourself is a very potent way for you to process. When you reflect, you meditate, you journal, now you have this energy that can be expressed in the outer world and this can be very supportive for the solar eclipse integration. Tip number four, connection. Connect with people around you your loved ones, your friends, your community. This is a time for you to connect. 
Everyone went through a collective experience. So when you connect with someone and you get to hear their experience, you get to be a witness for each other. This is a very powerful process because as humans, we are wired for connection. When you do connect with others, you get to integrate and also be very validated within your experience. And this can be a very supportive process for integrating the solar eclipse. Tip number five, check in with your astrologer. An astrology reading can be a very useful tool. Astrology helps you look at the current transits that are happening within your birth chart and how this eclipse personally affected you. We all had a general theme of what occurs through the solar eclipse, but it's very specific for you in your own birth chart. And so getting an astrology reading can be very useful for integrating the solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are a very powerful opportunity every year. When you choose to dive in, tap into the depths within the soul, take the steps needed to help you process, you can integrate and become the best expression of yourself. Check out some of my yoga classes and meditations to allow you to integrate the solar eclipse.